We don't often think about what happens to prisoners, do we? I mean, there's orange is the new black. But in real life, we focus on what happened to put them in jail. You do the crime, you do the time. But there's something most of us never think about. What happens when a person is released from prison? Wait, this is something we need to talk about. Almost every prisoner is eventually released back into the community. There are a bunch of reasons we should care about what happens to prisoners when they're released. And not just because of their well-being, but ours as well. At the moment, the rate of re-offending is high. Almost half of those released end up back in jail within two years. Better support to people in and after prison has been shown to reduce recidivism. Reducing the rate of re-offending means less crime, fewer victims, and saves taxpayers money. But the odds are stacked against former prisoners. They face many challenges. Let's take a step back and look at some key statistics. People who end up in prison have often struggled to get a good education. Only a small proportion have completed Year 12 or equivalent, and less than half have sufficient literacy and numeracy skills to participate independently in the workforce. But that's just one of the many issues facing prisoners. Over half of the people who end up in prison have mental or cognitive disability, and almost as many have alcohol and drug issues. When they're released, former prisoners find it difficult to get jobs and to find a place to live. This problem was so bad last year that one support organisation had to give swags to release prisoners, as they had no other options for a place to sleep. That's not even the worst of it. In the first four weeks after release, former prisoners are 12 times more likely to die than their peers in the community. These are grim statistics. If someone has done their time, they should have a fair go when they're released. But instead, life for them can be tough. And if that person ends up back in jail, it's the community that has paid the cost. But we can change this. Prisoners who participated in education programs while inside were more likely to find employment and stay out of prison. Those who continued with education after release improved their chances even more. One Victorian program for treatment of prisoners saw a 10% drop in recidivism. So, investing in these programs saves us later on. Finding a job also reduces the rate of re-offending. One organisation saw recidivism reduced over 60% for those who participated in a work program. The results are in. Programs reduce re-offence and therefore crime. When people have a chance to get back on their feet, things work out better for everyone. Second chances make a difference. Second chances can save lives.